Yeah, this is only 20 bucks. Like, seed dish, a hide. Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle, this is Sterling, and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are going to be going to thrift stores and seeing what reptile things that we can find. This was suggested by a lot of you guys actually on the the same video, but the Dollar Tree version and on my ways to save money on pet supplies video. Obviously, I know that just because my thrift stores have these things that all thrift stores aren't gonna have these things. Thrift stores have whatever they have, whatever people bring in. But the point of this video isn't to find specific things. It is to demonstrate how much money you could save and just demonstrate the fact that you can find used reptile things at thrift stores. Speaking of buying very high quality items at very inexpensive prices, this week's sponsor is Copper artist. Just look at the sneak peek. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out more about that awesomeness. And I have a discount code, so make sure to stick around. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing and the biggest thing that you can find at thrift stores is tanks. You can find these one of two ways. The first way and the way that you will almost always find them is kind of like these DIY projects. So cabinets that aren't finished. You guys know that I made Zaz's current tank out of a jewelry cabinet that I found at a Habitat for Humanity. These projects obviously require quite a bit of work on your part, but they can make some pretty cool tanks. Thanks. If you don't want to go the DIY route or a tank, a lot of times you can actually just find tanks at thrift stores. This is one that I was able to find for $20. I don't know what size this tank is. I didn't measure it, but maybe a 10 or a 20 gallon tall. I don't really know what size this was, but it was only $20 and it came with everything. So obviously it comes with that screen lid. There's a box in there that had a bunch of stuff. There's a background already on this tank. And so I decided to pull it down to actually see what all comes with this for $20. And I was not disappointed. It was a little melted on top, but I mean, it's a used tank. There were these globes, which you should not reuse light bulbs that you find at thrift stores. We'll get into that a little bit later in the what not to buy from thrift store section. But there was this awesome leopard gecko hide. I'm pretty sure these by themselves are around $20. It was a branch, there was three bowls. It looked like a water bowl, a calcium dish, and a food bowl. All of this for $20, fantastic deal. I almost actually bought this just because I wanted that leopard gecko hide, and then I realized it would be pretty useless because my leopard geckos are about to get upgrades and they're gonna be in PVC tanks, so it, it wouldn't have mattered. But this is a, an amazing deal for a baby leopard gecko that you may bring home. Next up, we're going to things that you can find to put inside your tank. The biggest one, tile. You guys very often ask me where I get the tile to go into the tanks. It always comes from either thrift stores, like this Habitat for Humanity, this is where most of it came from, or like this one came from when my parents redid their bathroom and they had leftover and they let me have the leftover. But yeah, other than this one tank, all the rest of the tile in tanks has always come from thrift stores and it's super cheap and you only need a few to go in most tanks. So thrift stores are awesome for that. Also found this super cool thing. If you guys remember, a little while back, I used this cocoa core background stuff to make a DIY background for an anole tank. And this one at the thrift store is $2.99. I know that I spent a whole lot more than $2.99 on this tank. I actually meant to buy that and I forgot. And as I'm watching this footage, I'm kind of sad about it. So <laughs> let's move on to the other things. You can also usually find like little odds and end things like little terracotta pots. We talked in the saving money for reptiles video about how you can use these pots for baby reptiles to make hides out of. And there's some little rocks here. You can always use little rocks for small reptiles to put at the bottom in their water dishes, giving them a way to get out of those water dishes if they get into them. And every single thrift store that you go to, they're going to have plants. Obviously, if you buy anything from thrift stores, make sure to thoroughly clean them. Just said that at the very beginning, but obviously make sure you thoroughly clean and disinfect everything. But yeah, you're always going to find plants. I actually ended up buying this one. I was super excited about this. To like just put in a tank just like this. Yeah. Ooh. And this one. I'm actually going to be redoing almost every tank that I have. Like the ball pythons are going to be getting six foot tanks and Zaz is going to be getting a six foot tank. We're going to be doing a lot of tank redos and I need things. So I grabbed these. 
also found this really cool thing. I don't know what it is. It just looks like it could be a basking spot. Always make sure that you are checking on materials and stuff as well. Moving on to tank stands. A lot of people ask me where I find tank stands. Entertainment centers, things that are meant to hold like TVs or just heavy equipment. That's what I use for most of my tank stands. Super cheap, usually like 10 bucks for what could be used as a tank stand. And then we have pet carriers. If you are in need of something to transport your animal to the vet, check thrift stores. Both of the thrift stores that I went for in this video had pet carriers. This is actually, it was in very good condition. And this one, it, it's old, it doesn't look great. But if you have like a big iguana that needs to go to the vet, buying this from a thrift store is gonna be a lot cheaper than going to the pet store and trying to find one. Let's move on to things that you should be wary of buying. I don't wanna say that you shouldn't buy, but you should be wary of buying. Number one, extension cords. This one looked fine, but there was actually another one that I was looking at that was like very old. That can be kind of iffy buying old extension cords because we don't want to start any electrical fires. And going back to what I mentioned earlier, lights. You do not want to buy or reuse UVB lights, especially like I talked about in my Bearded Dragon lighting video. UVB lights have to be changed out every six months to a year, depending on what kind of light you're using. So you definitely don't want to reuse those lights because we have no idea how long they were used. Humidifiers. Humidifiers are fantastic. This was a very cheap humidifier and it was also noticeably very old. If you buy something like that, make sure you know how to clean it because humidifiers can harbor mold and you don't want to just put it in your pet room and hook it up and throw mold particles into the air. Then these bowls are on here, not because you shouldn't buy them ever, just because they are more expensive than if you were to buy it in a store. This is actually the same litter box that we saw in the Dollar Tree video a few days ago for a dollar and 25 cent. The thrift store is selling it for $3.99 and the same for those metal bowls. Dollar Tree often has them and there are three and four dollars here. So just make sure that you are being aware of what prices look like in other places. And that's it. I am recording this outro before I've actually gone to the store. So hopefully we found some really cool stuff. Moral of the story, you can find inexpensive things at thrift stores. And if you have no look at your thrift stores, definitely try Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace because they have used stuff at good prices. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by Coppertist. Coppertist is Fantastic, look at that. This stuff, these things that you see, they are handcrafted. I posted about this on Instagram and on TikTok about how I legitimately cannot wrap my head around how they handcraft these things. This is straight up art. These items are fantastic. And fun fact about me, I'm allergic to nickel. And this ring, this is the sterling silver version of the ring, has not broken me out. There's no green. And I've been wearing this for almost a week now. So super high quality stuff. The artistry again is absolutely amazing. Look at that. There's honestly not much else to say about these items other than the fact that they are beautiful and you can clearly see that. So if you want to order from this awesome business, make sure to use the code L and you actually say 15% off. That's a very generous discount code. Or you can just go to the link in the description, which also will give you that discount. Yeah, make sure that you do that and show that company some love because of this this is art. Thank you so much to Coppertist for sponsoring this video. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on our socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here, and this week's Instagram shout out is here. This microphone will not always be directly in front of my face. Thank you so much for liking and commenting and subscribing and sharing and being just super supportive in general. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's news. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Uh, ways to save money, pet supplies. Um, test, test. Right. Very sweaty. Oh, very sweaty. Good morning. Good. Hopefully you can, okay. Waiting for my air conditioner to be delivered. Sorry about the sweat. Super cool thing about the, super cool. Can you see the dog here on this?